How to monetize with Facebook Reels. Recently, I've been getting a lot of questions about how I'm getting monetized through Facebook Reels, so I decided to make this video. In this video, we're gonna talk about how to set up your Facebook account in order to start getting monetized for Facebook Reels. And also stay until the end because I'm gonna give you three tips to be successful with the Facebook Reel monetization. If we haven't met yet, I'm Karma Hunter, brand mentor and a convergence strategist. I help coaches, consultants, freelancers, and online entrepreneurs build a pipeline of quality leads with evergreen systems and strategies so that they never have to worry about where their next client is coming from. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell icon so that you get the notifications of my latest videos that I create weekly about online marketing and how to get clients online. We're talking about monetizing Facebook Reels, but what are Facebook Reels? So Facebook Reels are short form videos, just like TikToks or Instagram Reels. And because of TikTok, in order to play the long game, most of the platforms are coming up with a, some sort of short form video feature. So Facebook started to come up with the Facebook Reels Play Bonus Program in order to encourage more creators to use this feature. Through the Reels Play Bonus Program, you can get up to $35,000 a month. Monetization for your Facebook Reels works with the amount of views you get on your views. However, in order to start getting monetized, you need to be eligible for the Reels Play Bonus Program. In order to be eligible for the Reels Play Bonus Program, your Facebook account needs to be in the professional mode. Professional mode and Reels Play Bonus Program, meaning making money through Reels, is by invitation only. So if you got an invitation from Facebook saying that you can monetize your Reels or you now have the professional mode, this is when you can actually start that process. Unfortunately, not every Facebook user is allowed to have professional mode. And like I said, it's invitation only. So how do we get invited into the professional mode and the Reels Play Bonus program? Great question. It's actually really simple. When you start posting Reels, if you're getting attraction, meaning if you're getting visible, if a lot of people are watching your Reels, Facebook is gonna send you an invitation in order to start getting monetized through the Facebook Reels Play Bonus program. Unfortunately, there's no official application process into the program. However, there are a few tips that I gave to my clients which help them get this invitation faster. Here's what my clients have done to get this invitation. First, change your Facebook page view to the new experience. We're not talking about your personal profile. This is your Facebook business page. If you have the new experience feature already up, Go ahead and change it to new experience feed. Second, change your Facebook page category to a uh, video creator, content creator, or public figure. Just a side tip on any social media platform. This is not just Facebook. It could be any social media platform. Whenever they come up with a new feature or a new experience, make sure to use that feature. Social media platforms love their users to start using their new features. And this is gonna help those platforms push out your content to more. Now that we got that tip out of the way, once you change your Facebook page category to public figure, video creator, or content creator, go to Meta for creators and sign up, which is facebook.com slash creators. This is gonna help Facebook understand that you're a content creator. So it's gonna speed up the process of giving you the professional mode invitation. Best thing about monetizing your Facebook Reels is that Reels Play Bonus Program does not require you to have a big following. It doesn't matter how many followers or friends you have on Facebook. So if your videos are doing well, you're gonna get the invite. Once you get the invitation, you'll go ahead and accept the invitation and set up your account, meaning setting up your bank account, your tax information and such. And, and Meta will show you the criteria of monetizing your reels 
in the platform. Once I got the professional mode, I was kind of confused because I lost the Reels button from my profile. So when I looked at my page, I saw that the Reels button was on my page and I was able to post Reels on my page. I heard that if you lose the Reels button from your personal profile, you can open a ticket with Facebook and they may fix it. However, I'm not sure how good Facebook's customer service and support is. But anyway, after a while, I got the button back in my personal profile as well as on my page. So here are three tips for you to be successful with your Facebook Reels monetization. Number one, create original content, meaning don't use too many trending sounds or different trends because this may lead you up to copyright issues later on. Or sometimes you see that a sound is removed from the video and that removes the entire sound of the video. So in order to make sure that your video is eligible to get monetized, make sure it's original content. Now I'm not saying you can't get monetized with the trending sounds or just doing the trends. I know that there are some creators that do this, However, if you want to make sure that you have no copyright infringement issues later on or uh, want to make sure that Facebook is not flagging you for using other people's content, create original content. This is the safest option for you. Number two, track your posts. Look at how your reels are performing. Go to your analytics and see which ones are performing the most so that you can actually create more of the similar content, repurpose it, rinse and repeat it, and post more of the similar content that performs really well. Number three, if you decide to repurpose your content from TikTok or YouTube Shorts or other platforms that has the short form videos, you want to remove the watermark. Now I am guilty for not removing the watermark uh, from my Instagram reels when I posted on Facebook. However, I feel like since Instagram and Facebook are both meta, that probably wouldn't make that much difference. And I didn't really see as much of a difference. However, if the video I'm reposting is from TikTok or YouTube, a, a, a different platform than meta platform, I make sure to remove my watermark because we know even if it's not an issue just yet, it will become an issue later on when more people start doing Reels and, and Facebook Reels, that is, and when Facebook Reels become more and more popular. Have you started posting Reels on Facebook yet? Let me know in the comments below which one of these tips was the most helpful for you. See you next time.